Since the 1950s, every bit of plastic that's ever been created still exists in some form. All types of plastic is designed to defeat the natural decay, which is the best and the worst quality of it. Since a lot of this durable plastic is made for one-time use, it finds its way into huge landfills and the oceans, forming what's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now, it does not stretch for twice the size of US, but 1.6 million square kilometers, which is thrice the size of France. These floating wastes are exposed to UV radiation, breaking down into smaller pieces of plastic, called microplastic, which can be consumed easily by marine animals and eventually ends up in our system. Nearly all adults have plastic additives in their bodies. All the plastic contributes to greenhouse gas emissions at every stage of its life cycle. At current levels, greenhouse gas emissions from the plastic life cycle threatens the global community to keep the global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Going beyond the 1.5 degree mark can increase the risk of drought, floods and poverty for millions of people. The UN has warned that we have about 12 years to limit this temperature difference to avoid the climate change catastrophe. Although natural disasters like hurricanes and tsunamis are not directly connected to climate change, fast melting glaciers and rising sea levels will only make them worse. How can you help? There are a lot of manufacturers and startups around the globe coming up with natural alternative solutions to plastic. Find them. NGOs and other communities carrying out social activities like beach cleanups and other waste management. If you can't find one, start one. A lot of organizations like Global Citizen, Just Water, We Love the Earth and so many others are fighting these issues, seeking the public support. Problems big or small, exaggeration or not, the planet needs our help. Get involved.